I'm Leonard Marks, speaking to you from the urology department at UCLA. About a decade ago, MRI-guided biopsy emerged as the de facto standard for the best accuracy in diagnosis of prostate cancer. However, MRI is not perfect, and both falsely positive and falsely negative results have been observed. Now, a new method for diagnosis of prostate cancer, a new way to image prostate cancer anywhere in the body called PSMA PET-CT scanning has emerged. In the present video, we hope to show you how PSMA-targeted prostate biopsy can supplant uh, conventional MRI-guided biopsy. Several years ago, we showed in a publication that targeting a PSMA hotspot with a PET-CT fused with real-time ultrasound could accurately diagnose prostate cancer that MRI could not. PSMA PET scanning employs a radio tracer labeled with gallium-68 or fluor-18. When injected, the radio tracer binds to the extracellular part of the PSMA molecule, which sits on the surface of prostate cancer cells. The bound molecule then becomes internalized into the cytoplasm of prostate cancer cells, where it accumulates, allowing visualization by PET scanning. A CAT scan is then performed and overlaid for anatomic localization. The result is a visual representation of prostate cancer, wherever it may be in the body, including within the prostate. PSMA PET scanning was recently approved by the US FDA in two forms, labeled with gallium-68 or fluor-18. PSMA PET can detect lesions suspicious for clinically significant prostate cancer. The degree of suspicion of cancer is based on the pattern of the PSMA PET signal. When it is focal, such as in this example, then the level of suspicion increases. On the other hand, when it's diffuse and faint, the level of suspicion decreases. We also quantify the PSMA PET signal intensity using a metric called SUV, standardized uptake value. In this example, the SUV was 10, which makes this lesion very suspicious for clinically significant prostate cancer. These lesions can be used as target for biopsy. We can use the PSMA PET CT images to draw contours and these contours being done on the PSMA PET CT images can be transferred onto an ultrasound image fusion device for targeted biopsy. In the biopsy suite, the contoured PSMA images are transferred on disk into the image fusion device. In this case, the Artemis device is used, but the procedure is also applicable to other fusion devices. The prostate is imaged using ultrasound, anesthetized, scanned, and a 3D representation of the prostate is created for targeting and tracking of biopsy data. Next, the PET CT image with a contoured region of interest is fused with real-time ultrasound images of the prostate. Biopsy samples targeted at the PSMA Abbott spot are obtained in and around the lesion. If not obtained previously, systematic samples may also be obtained at this time. The tissue cores are submitted individually for pathologic review. The workflow is identical to that used in MRI ultrasound fusion procedures. At this time, we are limiting PSMA-guided biopsies to cases where uh, MRI is suspected of being falsely negative or where MRI is not possible for some reason. Such an example is this 72-year-old man with an unrevealing MRI and a systematic biopsy which was negative. His persistently elevated PSA density led to a continuing suspicion of prostate cancer and a PSMA scan was performed, revealing within the hot spot in his prostate a grade group three prostate cancer. PSMA scanning and PSMA targeted biopsy have brought on a disruptive innovation in the world of prostate cancer. In fact, eight out of the 10 first patients that were biopsied by means of this technology have had clinically significant prostate cancer detected, which may have otherwise not been seen by other means. PSMA is a long journey. It started several decades ago 
uh, both with our colleagues in Germany and in the United States. Now it's gotten an FDA approval and soon PSMA scanning will be widely available. We want to give special tribute to our colleague, Dr. Johannes Chernin, Chairman of the Nuclear Medicine Department at UCLA, who was instrumental in bringing PSMA to the United States to begin with, uh, who led the path through the FDA to approval. Very soon, PSMA scanning and hopefully PSMA-targeted biopsy will be widely available to all men.